All right, man, what's going on? It's your boy Sniper Jones, and we back with another video. Today in the studio, I'm excited because we got a sneaker that Nike never released yet, but it had so many release dates. We slowly starting to see people with pairs. Not a lot of people. It's never been like a confirmed drop. We're going to get into why it hasn't been a confirmed drop. And we're going to get into the actual sneaker that's in the studio today. Got to shout out my guys over at Ecstatic for allowing me to get this sneaker. The pros and cons of living in downtown, man. God, Lee. I'm recording here, bruh. Fire trucks just running around. It's nothing I can control, bruh. Today in the studio, man, we have the Nocta Drake Nike Glide. And in my opinion, man, this shoe was fire on photos, but I can't wait to see what it looked like actually in hand. So without further ado, let's get into it. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that, man. A lot more sneaker content just like this, unreleased, early, uh, even sneaker news is all here on the channel. So if you haven't hit the sub button, make sure you do that. But checking out the box, this box would look very familiar if you guys ever owned any other Drake Nocta shoe. Um, I do own the other uh, Drake Nocta, I believe it was called like the Terrace or whatever. I, I don't even remember what, exactly what it was, but it's the same exact box. You kind of get this older vintage Nike box with like the cardboard on one side and then you kind of get like this 3M gray on the other with like a line that pretty much separated and you get the Nocta Nike swoosh. It's all good, but for the point we here for, we want to see the shoe, bro. So let's let's just get into the shoe. Bow! Here we have the Nike Nocta Glide. Now, this isn't my size. If it was, this would be my pair. I'm gonna go out here and tell y'all right now. I know it's gonna be a lot of people in the comments saying this shoe is ugly, it's trash. Um, that's cool, you know what I'm saying? I need this, and I'm gonna tell you why in a little bit later in the video. I think that, you know, Drake, in my opinion, I gotta say this, right? You know, we know that Drake might be the best musician in the world. I do feel like his sneakers that Nike and Jordan brand give him aren't the best. I don't know if he's in control of trying to get these silhouettes because Drake is kind of familiar with trying to get older silhouettes and then kind of reinvent them to be popular. Meanwhile, Travis Scott jumps on silhouettes that's kind of popping already. Now he's starting to dabble in different silhouettes that wasn't as cool as they once were, but he came out right out the gate with Air Jordan 1s, Air Jordan 4s, I mean Air Jordan 6s. I know he kind of took a chance on Air Jordan 1 lows. We won't wear them that much, but if you look at what Drake has gotten, man, he gotten Air Jordan 10s. Air Jordan 8, you, you know what I'm saying? You, you see the drop off, it's, it's not even, it's not even close. Some background on this sneaker before I get into it because I know a lot of the talk around the Nocta Glide is when is it gonna release? Because it was supposed to release June 29th for the retail price of $160 and out of nowhere, it just disappeared, bro. It faded off the face of the earth and nobody knew what happened to the shoe, me included. I was counting my days, I was ready to buy this and I didn't know what happened to it, bro. I promise y'all, I did not know. I was. Looking on Nike sneakers, okay, cool, they're not gonna drop on there. But I got no updates on anything after the supposable release date, but I got answers, bruh. That's why you come here. That's why you come to the channel. I got answers, bruh. I'm not sure if you guys been keeping up with any sneaker news, but I got a news article that I think relates to this sneaker, and I'm gonna read it over here on my laptop verbatim, okay, verbatim. Los Angeles Police Department sees seven million in stolen Nike sneakers from a warehouse, according to CB News. I'm not sure if you guys remember this, but on June 23rd, this article was published, and in LA, they raided and found seven million dollars of stolen Nike sneakers in the LA warehouse. And my sources are 100% legitimate. Okay, I am I am the Woj of sneakers. Now that's unbreakable, but listen, this sneaker was a part of that $7 million bust. And that set Nike back so far that they still haven't released these yet. Maybe they're gonna release some more pairs, maybe they gotta manufacture more pairs, or maybe they're just gonna scrap this release in total and just make it one of those things where if you got it, you got it, if you don't, you don't. I don't know the answer to that, but what I do know is the reason why we haven't seen this sneaker on a release date or even after the release date, bruh, they had $7 million of stolen pairs of these. I wanna know why. I don't know if the resale price was gonna be banging that much to sell 7 million pairs, but, that is the reason why we haven't seen these yet, and I was very upset when I found out the news because I was looking forward to them, as I told y'all. They actually said in the article, the specifics of stolen goods are, un are unknown. However, news footage from the scene shows the SKU numbers of all the sneakers. So it's a picture I'm gonna show on the screen right now, and it says, the SKU numbers are Drake's upcoming Nocta Glide and the Nike High Panda colorway. Now, I don't know about the Nike High Pandas, all right? I, you missed me on that, but these were a part of 
the seven million dollar bus. So that's the setback, and that's the reason why you haven't seen these. Now, this sneaker, as you guys can see, is definitely influenced by the Zoom Flight 95s, a retro sneaker we used to wear back in the day. Actually, I never wore that shoe back in the day. It was popping like in middle school, maybe. That's when you get like these huge air bubbles on the side. Kind of reminds me of like the Jason Kidd sneaker. Well, I think they did a good job by like making this shoe more modern, but still keeping some old school factors. And I like the fusion a little bit more. Not to mention, I think dad's shoes are more in style now than they ever was back in, what, what like, what was I in middle school, bro? Like 2006, I like, I don't know, bro. But I'm just saying like, it was a lot more, it's a lot more cool now than it was then. Not to mention, this is my hot take on these, right? This is my opinion of the Nike Wave Runner. The Wave Runner was one of those sneakers that Kanye came out with, took the world by storm. I don't, th I don't think the shoe's gonna do that. However, the silhouette of this sneaker, the bulkiness, and the look of it, this is like a Nike Wave Runner to me. I'ma wear this the same way as a Wave Runner. I'ma throw it on with these different pieces the same way as a Wave Runner. I mean, I'ma take it as this is Nike's version of a of a dad shoe that's stylish and looks kind of cool white and black now i'm on record all drake sneakers are not cool the only drake sneakers i own is uh <clears throat> let me grab this for y'all real quick man this is in the actual same box but i wanted to take a chance on these i wasn't too sold on them and even i'm gonna be honest bro even to this day i wouldn't be mad if i never wore these again but this is the original nike uh nocta by drake right this is the all white joint you know what i'm saying and uh, it needs to be cleaned badly. But this is the all white joint, the, the, the Nike sneaker with Drake. And I'm gonna be honest, bruh, these are, I just want to cop because it's my job to buy sneakers and tell y'all the news, you know what I'm saying? However, this pair, completely different. This pair, I want because it's tough. It's tough and it's so tough, we about to get into the details right about now. Starting off with the outer sole, man, they decided to come through with the icy blue soles and they also put some yellow traction pods on the bottom of this thing, man, making it a little bit more standoffish, give it a little bit more pop, a little bit more breathing room. Not to mention, they got the carbon fiber plate underneath and a little bit higher in these Nike Zoom 95 bubbles that we're gonna get to in a second. The midsole, the midsole pretty much speaks for this sneaker because of how chunky and how big the midsole is. In my opinion, they did take that inspiration from the Flight 95, slap it on here, but they also updated it by giving it this smooth, kind of glide effect, right? If you look up here with the upper, where you get like this netting, and then you get the Nike swoosh, this kind of gives it a futuristic feel. And I don't know if this stripe is going through is 3M, but if it is, that'll be tough. That's a good touch. I don't know if it is or not though. I'm just saying, that would've, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can probably call me, I call my people, and I can probably help y'all with the next one. Details on this shoe we have to talk about. Right here by the, 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 the lace holes, we get Nike, Spelt out on the side of the sneaker like that, not to mention it has a white trim to give it that extra pop. It probably wouldn't look the same. If it didn't have that extra trim, it would just probably just sink in with the mesh throughout the entire upper. Not to mention on the tote box of the sneaker, we get another Nike swoosh emblem, but we also get some designs heading down the tote box to kind of make this shoe look like a vent, like on a, on a Ferrari, you know what I'm saying? Or like, you know, I'm not really a car guy, but you know like those muscle cars that got the vents on the hood that kind of make a little diesel, make a little Aki. That's what this reminds me of on the front. They knocked the logo on its tongue, of course, and then on the back heel, I believe this is 3M. We just get like a pull tag that pretty much completes the Nike Nocta Glide. I do want to talk about the insole because it's pretty cool. It has the Nocta with the Nike swoosh and this cool silver plated on the back heel of the sneaker. I think that was a pretty good touch. Add a little bit of elegance and swag, so you know. I'm liking these a lot. Now, like I said, man, the retail price for these is $160. I guess the only question is now, when will they ever be released due to like the setback of people stealing $7 million, which is insane, bro. Y'all gotta mess it up for everybody. Um, I think right now on StockX, I don't wanna just mumble, cause I'll, I've been back and forth on buying these from StockX. I, I just didn't want to buy these from StockX and then like, they actually get released and I realize I paid way too much for them. Right now on StockX, they're going for 343 in a size 12. Not bad, I could live with it, but I mean, a retail for 160. And like I say, I don't really know the hype on this shoe yet. I don't, I don't really hear people talking about it. I don't know if I will have to spend 340 when they actually drop. So I don't know, I guess I'm just holding out, hoping for the best. Nike has started seeding these though, because Victor Wimbenyama, the number one overall pick of the NBA draft, was seen at a baseball game throwing the first pitch and the pair of these. And he's 7'3 with an eight foot wingspan. 
So I know he got to wear like a, a size 38. And, and they even got him a pair. So if they got him a pair, I think they're going to slowly start pushing these out sooner than later. But all I know is, bro, whenever they do release them, I got to get my hands on them. And to keep it a bean, bro, all that patient talk sound good. But if these don't come out in the next two months, I'm buying them off stock action. I, 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 I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. I ain't got time to be waiting on these. I need these. Thank you all so much for watching the video, man. Hopefully this gives you a little bit more insight on the Travis Scott Knock the Glide. Travis Scott, okay, let, 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 let me relax. Utopia just came out, I've been listening to it, let me run that back. Thank y'all so much for coming to the video, man. Hopefully I gave you a little bit more information about the Drake, Knock the Glide, and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you wanna see other new content. I also drop more videos on my IRL channel that don't have anything to do with sneakers, so if you wanna check that channel out, link is down below, I appreciate the love. Follow me on Instagram, man. I do a lot of cool content on sneakers that's outside of what I do on YouTube. I think you guys will really like that. And until next time, man, I'll see y'all in the next one. It is your boy, Sniper Jones. You know I cannot leave without saying everybody want to be famous. But who really putting in that work, though? Snipe Squad, I love y'all. Dream big.